Some big Jurassic 7 information has just dropped and today, it's time to delve deep into it as filming starts today. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Jurassic 7 video. Today we have some major exclusive news coming from Variety as it seems as though we have our first plot details about the new movie. We cover all things to do with the Jurassic franchise here on the channel, from the new movie to the animated series and even the video games. So if that interests you in any way, make sure you're subscribed to the channel for the latest Jurassic news. But for now, once you're sat back, relaxed and enjoying your G Fuel after using code SWERVE, it's time to discuss the latest news from the new Jurassic World movie. So firstly, as we did confirm over on Twitter for a few weeks now, we are safe to say that filming has begun today. June 13th, in the very early hours of the morning in Thailand time, I believe it was maybe about 10am or something, it actually began filming in a very small little village, like a little fishing village, um, that I've probably never seen anything like this before. So the people who are living very nearby, um, they're mesmerised by it. There are some behind the scenes photos that did go online, but of course, Universal are going through an online purge right now and deleting all of these photos. Um, so I wouldn't really risk my channel by posting them just yet. But yes, there are behind the scenes images going about and uh, yeah, the official filming has begun. As we confirmed last week, the filming production did begin last week, which meant that everybody was arriving on set and we finally get word that yes, filming begins today in Thailand in a very small fishing village, which I think is very, uh, very cute. <laughs> I really like the idea of that. However, not only do we have that information, which I didn't think was valuable enough to just make a whole entire video on, we actually got some plot details from an exclusive article with Variety.com. Yes, plot details. I know, crazy. I didn't think we'd get anything of the sort. Maybe a title reveal or something. But today, we have some plot details. So what are these plot details? When we go on to the original article by Variety, they confirm that the script that was written by David Kep for the new movie is a completely fresh take launching a new Jurassic era, which somewhat confirms that it is supposed to be taking place after Jurassic World Dominion. However, I would kind of take a pinch of salt with that just because of what is said later in the article, but that's more about speculation. They continue to say the month-long Thailand unit production was confirmed by the country's Department of Tourism Director General Jout. Oh my goodness, how do I even say that name? Fakdi Wanit, I think? <laughs> my apologies. He said that the production will take place between the 13th of June and July 16th at locations in Bangkok, Trang, Bang Yunga, Phuket, and Chiang Mai. Which again, I'm, I'm terribly, terribly sorry for my pronunciations here. Additionally to the Hue to Waterfall within the Khao Phanom Pencha National Park in Krabi, and that's expected to also take place this week. Now there are some more details from this filming shoot in Thailand about how much it costs and all of that, but you can check that out in the original article. Um, but they do confirm here that it is currently unclear which cast members will be in Thailand. Amberlin Universal and Kennedy Marshall have not responded to any of the inquiries from Variety. So it just makes you think, maybe it's Scarlett Johansson, maybe it's Mahershala Ali, you know, there's, there's other people who could be there as well, but then there could be none at all. We, we don't entirely know. Now, as I'm continuing to read this article, it did refresh and the information I wanted to talk about isn't actually there. So this is actually very confusing, um, but if I remember correctly from what this article originally said, they did confirm that the movie is supposed to follow three adults and three teenagers who have lost their way on an island full of dinosaurs. Um, now, that's, don't quote me exactly, it is around that, it was definitely about three teenagers and three adults, and when you do look at the, uh, the casting, that also makes sense and adds up quite a lot. Now, this isn't in the article anymore, and I, I actually saw in real time the article refresh, which is very confusing to me, so bear with me whilst I try to find this information again. But yeah, okay, it seems like they might have edited the article in the meantime, because this information wasn't supposed to be out. Um, I don't entirely know, but yes, I remember seeing on this article, and there are a few people on Twitter who did tell me about this as well, um, this movie is supposed to be following three teenagers and three adults who lost their way on an island. Now, if we were to speculate a little bit about that, it does make you just think, like, why are they returning back to an island? We have a whole open world of possibilities now. We have Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, practically the same movie. The Lost World, Fallen Kingdom, practically the same movie. 
2001's Jurassic Park 3 and Dominion, nearly the same movie as well. And the only one that doesn't take place on an island, but feels like an island, is Jurassic World Dominion. Not only that, but we also have Camp Cretaceous that takes place on an island, and we also have Jurassic Park Survival, which is going to be taking place on Isla Nublar, an island. So, you know, sure, great, they, they did well, but again, this whole world has opened up now, and it just makes you think that, why are we returning back to an island? Don't get me wrong, I still have high hopes for the movie, especially with, you know, everybody who's actually involved with it. But it just makes you think, like, why are we returning back to a new island? Like, that that's why some people assume that it is a prequel because of that. Uh, which does make, you know, a little amount of sense. But then again, we already have that story with people being left on the island via Camp Cretaceous. So hopefully it's not like a new rundown story that basically mimics Camp Cretaceous. Hopefully this is a brand new story. Maybe it's one of the Malaysian islands, for example. Maybe people tried to explore and uh, they got caught up in all of this situation going on with dinosaurs breaking around the world. And as for the people who are, you know, left behind on that island or something of the sorts, um, why... Why three adults, why three teenagers? That seems like quite a big cast if they are just following a minimal story here. Um, but at the same time, it does make me just intrigued about where this story is going. Because it could be a prequel to Jurassic Park, it could be a prequel to Jurassic World, it could be something that takes place after Jurassic World Dominion, but it does seem like it does take place after Dominion. So, in regards to that island comment that Variety did make on the original article before they seem to have now edited it, coincidentally halfway through recording this video, which is very weird, it just makes me think, like, another island. Ugh, I'm a little bit bored of the concept now. But again, I'm still having high hopes for this movie just because of who is involved. Um, but as for plot details, that's the new information that we have. Three teenagers, three adults, lost their way on an island. It could be a Malaysian island, takes place after Dominion, it could be a prequel, but again, my money is that it's going to be on after Dominion. Take of that what you want, but again, it does seem like Variety have changed that and removed that section on their article. And just a little bit more information here to kind of confirm our exclusive that we had a few months ago, even last year. Variety do confirm that Malta production is basically... Variety do in fact confirm that the production taking place in Malta is just for large water tanks in Malta Film Studios, which is going to be taking place between July and September. And then in the United Kingdom, Sky Studios Elstree is also there with Saga Productions. And I do want to say to you guys here that it does seem like that Jurassic 7 is under three different working titles. Yeah, I think Owl is one of them, Saga is one of them, and I can't remember what the third one is. But there's three working titles going on for Jurassic, because they're all being filmed at the same time through multiple filming crews. Yeah, I know. They're going to be filming in the United Kingdom at the same time they're filming in Thailand. And I, I can't remember the other country, I think it is Malta at the same time as well. So yeah, there are multiple filming crews going on right now. So production is about to ramp up, and I think filming is supposed to finish by October. Uh, don't quote me on that, that's just a rumor I heard, so there's no confirmation on that. However, if it does finish in October, then I assume the earliest will be around February 2025, we will get our first trailer for Jurassic 7. Which, you know, it sounds like a long way away for now, but it's not too bad considering the release format that we had for Jurassic World Dominion. So, yeah, we finally have some further details about the movie. They might not be great, but at last, but at least it's the first things we hear about this new movie. We should expect a lot more as the weeks go on in Jurassic June, so make sure you're staying tuned on the channel for more as and when it drops. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new around here, but most importantly, make sure you're all staying safe out there, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here, as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.